terrorizing actors to almost killing one of the film crew on set, Jurassic Park's dinosaurs were a very real threat both on and off camera. Rude, yeah. Here's how the animatronics got a little too lifelike in these films. Yeah, right. it's a little too real for me. I'm good. Welcome to Explained. Jurassic Park's animatronics changed the world of cinema forever. These lifelike robots took dinosaurs from this to this. Fast forward another three decades and the line between fantasy and reality has blurred in Jurassic World Dominion. So what do you get when you combine modern day animatronics with the ancient art of puppetry? A bunch of crazy looking dinosaurs that can breathe, emote, and interact with the actors like living beings. We truly have spared no expense. The most scary and awesome dinosaurs we've ever seen. There have never been more dinosaurs than there are in Dominion in a movie. Like maximum amount of dinosaurs in this movie. Dominion uses a seamless mix of animatronics with visual effects and CGI under the supervision of John Nolan and has more dinosaurs than any other film. Some of the animatronics include the massive head and neck of the Giganotosaurus, the Microceratus, the Pyroraptor, the Stiggy Moloch, a Dilophosaurus, and several others. They've created a dinosaur now that is truly going to honor the true science behind dinosaurs that are feathered. And this thing is freaky, really, really scary. It's a specialized craft to see what John Nolan is capable of, to be able to give him the opportunity, not just to make animatronics for a Jurassic movie, but to make more than had ever been made for a single movie, uh, just excited me. But let's look at how animatronics have become so realistic. Back in the 90s, Rexy the T-Rex in Jurassic Park looked and functioned way ahead of its time. But building its full body was a nightmare. This big guy functioned on a hydraulic system. Separate teams built the mechanical structure, the foam rubber covering, and the latex skin. By the end of it, Rexy was 36 feet long, 18 feet tall, and weighed 12,000 pounds, or nearly 5,450 kilos. That's as heavy as an adult male African elephant. In fact, it was so big that they had to build a half-body version for some scenes, and this functioned with a computer-based action memory system that could repeat predefined movements. Then came the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 that weighed over 20,000 pounds and was 45 feet in length. In fact, it was so huge, the doors of the studio had to be removed to take it in and out with a crane. This monster was fitted on a track, and a telemetry device helped replicate every move the puppeteer made in the animatronic. By the time Jurassic World was in production, technology had made another jump. 3D modeling made it easier to scale these creatures to life-size beings, and detailed design made them aesthetically realistic. The half-body Apatosaurus was the most impressive. A cable system replaced the hydraulics to create more natural movements, and this animal could even move its facial muscles to create micro-expressions with its eyes, while a unique mechanism helped control its tongue. But the film was heavily critiqued because all the other dinosaurs were CGI. Fallen Kingdom saw another big leap in practical effects, and this time it used more animatronics, which was a hit with the audience. One was the T-Rex animatronic that was far easier to control than Rexy in the first film. This thing could move its head, neck, and a part of its torso. It had articulated eyes, was able to roar, and the effects team created a special slimy liquid to imitate saliva. Next was the Indoraptor, and while it was mainly a CGI creation, parts of it were practical effects. It had a huge standalone animatronic arm that was controlled by a puppeteer, and a massive head was made with endless movements and expressions. Puppeteers could control its eyes, nose, and jaw, and the detailing made it look like a calculative, psychotic killer. But of all the animatronics, the Velociraptor Blue that was created in full body terrified the actors the most. This thing could sweat, salivate, move its eyes, muscles, and much more. In this scene, a special cabin under the table was fitted with controls the puppeteer team could use to control different parts of the body. And in the cases where animatronics weren't used, motion capture performers with special props helped the actors have something real to react to. Because fun fact, Spielberg had crew hold up dinosaur faces on long poles in the first movie while he made roaring sounds on a bullhorn for the actors to react to. <laughs> while animatronics takes these movies to a whole other level, They've been known for their unpredictability on sets, especially in the beginning. Rexy in the first film had his own set of issues. Every time he got wet from the rain, the hydraulics would get messed up, and people on set would be screaming because he'd suddenly come alive and shake violently despite being unused. 
The biggest scare was when a crew member almost died while trying to fix Rex's skin on at the beginning. The animatronic was powered up and the long layers of skin had to be pulled over and glued down from the inside of it. Someone climbed inside the T-Rex's structure to fix it, but suddenly the power in the studios went off and the hydraulics started moving Rexy into shutdown mode. Luckily, the guy moved into a fetal-like position and wasn't crushed to death, and his team pried Rexy's jaw open and pulled him out after that. Stunts are another big part of the Jurassic World trilogy. While the more dangerous stunts were performed by stunt doubles, the actors did pull off some amazing ones of their own. One of them is Chris Pratt being dragged through the snow, and another was when he jumps through the mouth of a dinosaur in a truck. Bryce Dallas Howard also had her share of action. In Fallen Kingdom, she had to train and learn to ride the T-Rex, which wasn't easy. And in Dominion, she took to Twitter to proudly show off some serious bruises all over her body that she got while filming stunts on set. While CGI does make films look incredible on screen, the use of animatronics and puppetry won't be done away with anytime soon. And with technology only getting better every year, it's exciting to see where it takes filmmaking in the years to come. Let us know what your favorite dinosaur is in Jurassic Park Dominion, and don't forget to like and subscribe.